I've got two video files here that I want to convert. One's a flash file, FLV, and the other one's a MOV QuickTime file. And I want to convert them to MP4. Now I'm doing this on a Mac, but if you want to do this on Windows, I've got another video for that, and the link is below. So I want to convert them to MP4 because they do work better on things like Facebook and that that may not like these, particularly the flash files on many other things as well. And MP4 is very universal. So I've got VLC Media Player here. Many of you may have that because it's good for playing videos and it plays many different formats. If you don't have it, you can get it from the link below. I've got that there for you and you can download it and use it. But you can also use it for converting the video files as well to MP4. So let's go here to File, choose this option here, Convert Stream. And you see it's got this box here now. Now I can open the media and I'm going to do that. And the other way I can do it is drag and drop. So let's do one of them by just opening the media. Let's just click here. And here I am, this is my folder. And I'm going to choose this one here, this broadband help, which is the flash one. So let's click on open. The profile is the format that we want. And you can see here, it says MP4. There are other options, but this is the one you want. Unless of course, you'd just like to have it as an audio file and then you could choose something like mp3 down here. Now you can customize it, but I don't think that's really necessary here. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just gonna leave that checked at the top. I need to save as file here and that will allow me to choose the destination. I'm gonna put it back into this same folder. So let's click on save as file. I'm going to browse. And you can see it's over here. It's coming up with the default name Untitled. I'm going to call this Broadband Help Converted. And I'm going to click on Save. Now I'm going to hit Save and that's going to do the conversion. So hit Save and you can see down the bottom here this is moving. It's quite fast because it's actually a short little file. And when it's done you'll see it come up over here. So it's got broadband help converted. It's a .m4v, that is an mp4 file, but I need to change it. This bit at the end here of three characters is the extension, I'm just going to click. I'm going to right click and choose rename. And I am just going to change it. Now many things don't actually mind if you don't change it, but if you feel more comfortable changing it or you need to, that's how you do it and I just press return or enter and I say use mp4. You may not get this message, but if you do, change it there. So how do I do it by dragging and dropping? I've got an MOV QuickTime file here. This actually came out of my iPhone. So I'm gonna go back to VLC and I'm going to choose File, Convert Stream. I just want to click and drag that over. It's now changed it. I need to make sure that the profile's still the same and it is. I'm going to choose Browse. It's going to here. I'm going to call this lake.mp4. Now, if I try and do that, let's just hit Save. I get this warning. It says I cannot save the, this document with the extension .mp4 at the end of the name. The required extension is .m4v. You can choose to use both so that your file name ends in mp4.m4v. I don't like that. So let's just choose the use m4v. Such a shame I can't just do that. And let's just hit save and again it converts it. And you can see it's coming up here. I'm gonna to have to change that in a moment. It's a little bit of a bigger file, so it's taking a bit longer to do. And also I have noticed that the flash one, they do seem to convert quite quickly anyway. So let's just wait for that to happen. So that's done now, let's do the same. I could just right click and choose rename. I could click here, click again and I can rename it to the mp4 and again I get my little reminder here so let's just click on that. So that's how you can convert files to mp4 which as I said is very universal and works pretty much anywhere that you need to upload them or share them with anybody. If you want to know how to do this on Windows don't forget I've got the link below but actually it's very very similar it's just about where you really save the files and VLC just looks a tiny bit different. If you do like this please do like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.